Good day, everybody. Well, I called it. I fucking called it. I said it would end up being contested, and it's contested. Trump's calling for a recount, I think, in Wisconsin. Oh, sorry for the glare. I'll cover it with my big fat head. Um, Michigan seems to be all over the place. I, I saw a screen cap of the results as far as the Secretary of State in Michigan as of around 2 p.m. Trump was up I want to say 238,000 or something like that votes over Biden and then a buddy's telling me about an hour later a little less than an hour maybe a little more than an hour that now he's down by 38,000 votes folks they can't magically conjure 300,000 votes in the course of an hour now maybe he was looking at old footage, like old uh, old statistics or old results. I don't know, but the fact of the matter is, if at 2 p.m. Trump was up by about yeah, I want to say about 230 odd thousand votes, even with mail-in ballots, Biden can't win. There's another state I. I can't remember which one I don't know maybe, maybe one of the Dakotas I don't know but apparently uh, they have more votes come in than people who were well basically more votes than the population of that state there's some twisted fucking shenanigans going on uh, in the US and you know what if if there's one silver lining to this big fiasco, it's that the Democrats and the media can no longer claim with a straight face that voter fraud is 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 fake or it doesn't happen. It clearly does happen. Project Veritas proved that. You have people on camera admitting to doing it, admitting to falsifying voting records, falsifying votes basically, harvesting ballots and filling out ballots for other people. On top of that, did I cover this yesterday? Yeah, I think I did. There was a sign outside of a Philadelphia polling, uh, polling station. No, I guess there wasn't. I didn't talk about it. On election day, there was a sign outside of the Philadelphia polling station out of a Philadelphia polling station that was showing who to vote for. It had Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and all the Democrats down ticket. It's on this big poster board sign that looked official. It wasn't like hand drawn. It was printed. That's electioneering. That's illegal. You can't do that. Plus there's the guy in Philly, the monitor, the, the, the watcher, I mentioned this, wasn't uh, wasn't permitted into the polling station. They said, sorry, you can't come in. Like, they're just blatantly out and out trying to rob the election, trying to steal the election. It's insane. And and they're not even they're not even trying to hide it. Anyway. I knew this wasn't gonna wasn't going to end last night. I mean, I was hopeful for a landslide, like I said, so that one way or the other, everyone would know at the end of the night. Here's the thing, if you're in the United States and you're watching this, I'm Canadian. Canada has about one-tenth the population of the United States, but like in the United States, most of our population is centered around big cities, okay? We have our suburbs, we have our rural areas, but on any given election, we know within three or four hours what the results are. So if polls close at eight, which is typical, sometimes nine depends on depends on where it is. But if the polls close at eight, by midnight we know who won. They say, oh yeah, but you're like one tenth the population. Yeah, but you guys have ten times our population, which means you have ten times the poll workers, ten times the body of people who can count votes. The last night in Michigan, uh, the mail-in ballots all of a sudden they just decide around eight p.m., nine p.m. Uh, we're not going to count anymore. We're tired. 
giving them the perfect opportunity to look at the, the landscape in Michigan and go, okay, we need this many votes to beat Trump. We've got to manufacture, you know, or trot out these votes that have been sitting in my trunk for, you know, the last couple of weeks and we're gonna we're gonna put them in the put them in the machine. It's a goddamn clusterfuck. And and I mean I was saying this to a buddy of mine, also Canadian, a colleague. I was saying I don't understand why they do things the way they do in the United States. So I get it. States have the right to run their own elections. Totally understand that. They have the sovereign state system going on in the United States. Totally get it. But for a federal election, when they're filling a federal position, so a senator going to Washington, D.C., or a congressperson going to Washington, D.C., so midterm elections, that kind of thing, that are of a federal nature, there should be a federal election body that runs that and says, here's how it's done. And it should be maintained. It shouldn't change. It should be the same across all 50 states. Federal elections are done this way. Federal positions, federal, federal political positions are determined by this voting method. So in Pennsylvania, they've got a rule where they can't start counting the mail-in ballots until election day. But in other states, they can start counting the mail-in ballots before election day. In some states, they're allowed to release the early voting data before election day. Which, you know, for lack of a better term, poisons the well. If early voting data comes out and the, and the media releases it, it can, it can sway what other voters are going to do. Now, maybe that's not a big deal. Maybe that seems, yes, so what? You're not supposed to be trying to sway people in that way. You're supposed to inform people of the candidates and their policies and their platform. Oh, this framing on this, I'm sorry, it's really terrible. I look like a little old lady with a beard in a car. I'm way down, you got all this headroom. Anyway, you're supposed to relay your political position and your political policy, your platform to the people, get that out there, have debates, and then people make up their decision by election day. Early voting, fine, but for people who can't necessarily make it make it on election day, fine. But those results shouldn't be released to the press prior to election day. It poisons the well. It 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 affects voter attitudes. People say, "Oh fuck, look at early voting. Trump's way ahead." Uh, no no point in me going out. He's going to win this. I mean, no, it's up to every individual voter to take their their responsibility uh, seriously in so far as voting goes. But you all know how I feel about universal suffrage. I've made a video about this. I don't think everyone should be voting in the first place. I don't think we should give everybody the right to vote, everybody above the age of 18. But that's another topic altogether. Anyway, point is, the way the U.S. system is done is completely bonkers. And you can say, well, the Electoral College is bonkers. Yeah, the Electoral College is bonkers for people who have a straightforward democracy, parliamentary democracy system like we do in Canada. But it serves a purpose in the United States. And, and I would argue that, you know, there's room for approaching something like that here in Canada, too. Something akin to an Electoral College instead of the first-past-the-post system that we have. I'm at the park now. Doggy's very excited. I thank you all for watching. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Comment, please. Uh, you know, good or bad. You can unlike if you want or, or thumbs down if you want. I don't care. Just interact with my video. Let me know you're watching. Let me know you hear what I have to say. But, point is... I know, Kenzie. We're almost there. Point is, it's... It's a messed up system. I expected it would be a messed up system. I knew what long before yesterday that we were not gonna know the results the night of the election. It wasn't gonna be clear enough. Now, if Trump had gotten over 300 electoral votes, then maybe he could have said, yeah, I win, and Biden would have had to concede. But because it's so close, neither one of them is gonna give an inch. Here's the other thing. Last night, 
Florida had like 96 of votes reporting, 96 of, of districts reporting, right? 96, and, they, and Trump was ahead by several hundred thousand votes. And they refused to call it for Trump. The media did not call it for Trump. Oh, well, we gotta wait for the mail-in ballots to be counted. It wouldn't matter what mail-in ballots were counted. You're not gonna close that lead because unless you assume that every mail-in ballot that was sent in was for the Democrats, was for Joe Biden, which just doesn't, it, it's fallacious reasoning. Unless of course they, you know, did what they did in, uh, in Michigan and say, you know what, uh, all right, here's the spread. We're at about 300,000 votes. Uh, we're gonna stop counting, or we're not gonna count in mail-in ballots, all the mail-in ballots. Oh look, we found another 350,000 votes. And they just happened to be for Joe Biden this morning. Fucking shenanigans. Anyway, love y'all, take care, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks.